happy Monday. So I just spent the morning at Palm Springs for breakfast for Riley's birthday. Because it's her birthday today. And now I'm back at the warehouse and I thought, I've been craving this. I actually thought I'd be back on the weekends, seeing as though we now have a freaking Asai machine in the warehouse, but I actually didn't. Although Friday night, we did. I think I'm just gonna have plain Asai. I'm just gonna put it in this little mug. Look at that. So good. Morning. I also caved and bought these last week. I'm not really much of like a big headphone type of gal, but those headphones are so bloody good when I'm editing. And I mainly wanted them for like noise cancelling on the plane when I'm like reading or, you know, just like to block out the noise. Riley really likes hers. Anyway, I'm off to the warehouse. I haven't worn these sunnies in so long. I feel so um, bougie when I wear them. But um, yeah, I need to go to the warehouse just to check on something. And then I thought I would take myself for a beach walk because I can't remember the last time I did that for myself. Literally, like, I don't even know why I put my glasses on. These last couple of weeks have just been so hectic with everything that's going on. I haven't really prioritized myself like I can't even remember the last time I went for a walk like even on the treadmill which is sad because I genuinely enjoy it and I just know how good it makes me feel when I move my body and it just yeah with everything going on and then me just not doing that just makes me feel even worse so I am going to prioritize that this week and even go to a few um, Pilates classes I'm going to book in to one tomorrow i also really want to go try rumble which is like a cardio boxing and yeah someone is staring at me i seriously don't even know where to start with what the fuck has happened today okay now i always believe everything happens for a reason and i swear by that because i truly believe it's true Okay, so basically we still haven't heard anything about the packaging that's arriving. Like still nothing. The tracking still says it's in the same spot at some port in Australia. Anyway, so I've been trying to think of ways where we can still launch this because I know Taylor Swift is this weekend. I personally am going this weekend. And a lot of people have DMs saying like, I need these before Taylor. So I've been trying to figure out ways how we can still ship them out, but I still want the experience of the packaging because the packaging to me, especially when you're unwrapping jewelry is important. Like it's like a whole, it's a whole thing. Like it's an experience and like, I wouldn't want to compromise on the experience because we don't have the packaging. So I was willing to push back the launch date and yeah, and just, I don't know, take each day as it comes and just wait for the packaging to arrive, even though I have no idea where it is. Anyway, so I uploaded my vlog this morning. Really lovely girl emailed me. Her name is Riley, actually, and she works for a custom mailer printing company. So basically, she'd emailed me saying she loves my vlogs, she's followed me for years, and basically has been my savior so obviously i'm not going to expect her to whip up my mailer boxes like my custom mailer boxes in literally under 24 hours because there's just no way in hell that would have ever happened like usually lead times are about like eight weeks or something um but they did have plain white like jewelry boxes i guess roughly the same size so I decided to go ahead and just purchase plain white jewelry boxes, like with no branding on it. And then I also decided to um, purchase some ribbon as well, which she also had on her website. And we're gonna make do with that. We've got everything else. Like we've got the inserts, we've got the pouches, we've got 
may look like we've got absolutely everything except for the little tiny. It's these things we're waiting on. These mailer boxes that all the jewelry goes in. If you've made an order, you would know. Anyway, so she saved the day. I messaged Adele and I was like, what do you think about this? Like, obviously it's not our normal packaging. Um, it actually is more beautiful in my opinion. Like I really love the white and the dark red ribbon. Um, and she's like, oh my God, let's do it. Anyway, so we were like, okay, let's go ahead with it. But the thing is we need them by tomorrow. Like we're launching, if we want to launch, we wanted to launch tomorrow to give you guys enough time to get your orders before Taylor Swift. So like tomorrow is pretty much the only day we can launch. So I was like, okay, that sounds great. But like how the fudge are we going to get these to Queensland? Because the company's in Melbourne. And Adele was like, I'll go pick it up. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll fill up a suitcase full of them. And then I'll fly in tomorrow morning early and they'll all be here. And I was like, that is such a fucking good idea. So that's exactly what she did. She literally went and picked up all these little boxes for tomorrow. And she's going to put them in a suitcase. And she's going to fly here with our bloody jewelry boxes. And we're launching. And then after she booked her flights and everything was organized, it hit me. I was like... Oh my God, we're launching. I haven't organized anything because I'd canceled a cake. I, you know me, I'm a details person. I want to get balloons. I want to get, like, I wanted to do an activity. I wanted to do like, um, cookies and like, you know, paint them. You know, have you seen those like DIY cookie painting? It's just like an activity to do. I wanted a platter. I wanted a picture blown up on a big poster and put into a frame, but like, there's just no way I can even do that because usually it takes like one to two days. Like I'd be pushing it if I did um, cake, it's too late. Like I originally had it booked for today, I canceled because I was like, there's no way we're launching on Wednesday. And now she can't do it. So I don't have a cake, which I'm really upset about. But I did pull through this local business, pull through with cookies and paint. So we're gonna do that tomorrow as a fun little activity. Um, I also did organize a platter. I couldn't organize for the prints to be printed because I called them up and they were like, absolutely not. I need to get ingredients for our acai bowls in the morning because we're gonna have acai. I think Adele gets here at around eight o'clock, but like we are on. We're freaking. <laughs> Oh my God, I need to show you a picture of Adele. Basically, she's, I think she's checking in an extra suitcase, but this is her in the car, picking up all the boxes. <laughs> this is crazy. Like we literally did this all in like a couple of hours. I fit all the boxes into my suitcase, it's 30 kilos. I feel like a drug smuggler. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I can't believe we're doing this. Okay, so that is the plans. We are launching on Valentine's Day. We don't have our mugs yet, but we were planning on dropping them like in a part two. So we we're gonna do, originally we we're gonna do two separate parts um, and do like a part one and a part two. Um, and the mugs were gonna be in part two. But I got this message. I got an email, like just then, literally just then, saying it's out for delivery, the mugs. So I'm just gonna have to wait here at the warehouse until they arrive. So we won't have to do two parts. Like we can launch everything, well that's if they come. We'll launch everything tomorrow. I can't believe it. Okay, I have an update. <laughs> Cannot make this up. So I got a tracking email not long ago saying, hey, your, deli your delivery is gonna be delivered by today. So I ended up calling the company and I was like, I just need to make sure that this is definitely gonna be delivered today. If not, do you have a date? Because it's obviously like 4 p.m. now and I'm guessing you know, delivery drivers stop delivering at around five. So I was like, just wondering like, is it definitely gonna be delivered today? 
or is it going to be delivered tomorrow? Like, can you let me know? So anyways, he calls me back and he's like, yeah, um, they may or may not come today, but definitely by tomorrow. And I was like, okay, this needs to be like a definite yes, because I will put the mugs up and then we can obviously ship them over the weekend. Um, or like, you know, um, we don't have to ship them tomorrow. We can ship them like tomorrow afternoon vibes. So I was like, I just really need to know it's a product launch. It's really important. I can't just put this product up if it's not even here. And like, I also still don't know if I want to risk it. Like I want to see the product before I put it up. So I prefer if I could see the bulk and then put it online. Cause like, who knows, even though our samples were perfect, like you just never know what a bulk order is going to look like. From experience, it's just, it is what it is. Sometimes you get a perfect sample and then you get a bulk order and you're like, what the actual fuck? That's just so normal. It's happened so many times. I've had many breakdowns over it, but we move. Anyway, that is just a part of owning a business. Anyway, so he's adamant that this delivery is gonna arrive tomorrow. So I've gone, okay, cool. And then at the end I was like, just wanted to make sure how many pieces are in this delivery. I think he was going to say like five, six, seven. I did order quite a bit of mugs, but I just don't know if, you know, those mugs are going to come in so many boxes. And he goes, 72. It's not the mugs. It's the fucking packaging. So that's arriving tomorrow. After all of that, we are getting the packaging tomorrow. It's all right. Like, we'll still use the white ones, but far out. I cannot believe it. Like, I'm actually glad that it is the packaging over the mugs because we have run out of mailer boxes, like, just for normal orders. So, yeah, we would have had to use the white um, boxes for, like, normal orders as well, not just a Dell's collection, but... Like, what are the odds of that happening? Like, anyway, I'm just very happy right now. That's all I have to say. So, like I said, everything happens for a reason. Okay, I've just gone to get some balloons for tomorrow's launch and some goodies for the girls. <sighs> the amount of looks I got holding those, I was actually surprised that more people weren't holding flowers or balloons like I felt like I was the only one like walking through the shops which is concerning this one guy <laughs> looked at me and I must have reminded him and he literally just like did a u-turn like he just left I don't know Coles or Woolies and yeah he went back <laughs> because he forgot flowers or maybe even a card but yeah I'm gonna go set this up at the warehouse now I'm gonna go and set this up right now hopefully the helium lasts she did say it can last up to a week but it does get quite hot upstairs without the aircon on, so we'll see. Okay, here's what the balloons look like. I didn't put them underneath the lights just in case, but hopefully they'll be fine for tomorrow. I'm gonna leave this up to Charlie to like set everything up. I just don't know. We've got so much stuff from the shoot here, but I'm sure she'll make it look cute. Um, and I also got the girls some of their favorite chockies, and I'm also gonna bring a road lip balm for each of them as well and a rose of course cute i've also got lipstick everywhere because i just kissed the napkins but i'm over and out i need to have a shower and wash my hair so badly i'm so sweaty like i literally have been in my activewear all day since my walk i feel disgusting so yeah gonna go home have a shower and relax before tomorrow i cannot believe we're launching tomorrow still like i literally can't believe what happened today the amazing thing is who the hell was the first person to ever actually make it like why did how did they just go through this whole proceeding so this is this is your number one <laughs> I just dice and air up to my hair, but I don't want to brush it out. <laughs> I look like Matilda Jeff. Yeah, I'm not going to brush it out until the morning because maybe that'll make it last longer. 
Anyway, good night. Happy launch day. Oh my God, I'm so tired. It's 5.30 a.m. But Adele woke up at 3.45, which is crazy. Oh my God, look at my hair. I don't think I'm gonna brush it. I'm just gonna put my fingers through it. But yeah, I just um, used the small barrel on my Dyson. Actually looks really good. I can't even remember how I did my fringe as well. But it's sitting really nice. I think I just like used the barrel as like the round brush. Not bad. Okay. Well, I need clips because I need to wash my face. Um, but yeah. Happy launch day. I just hope today goes smoothly and that we actually get the packaging. Well, they did say latest by the afternoon, which is fine because obviously we've got um, the packaging that Adele has brought. I'm just excited that the people can get their orders like before Taylor Swift, because a lot of people did mention that they wanted their order before Taylor, which I get because I'm wearing a lover earring to the concert 100%. I also need to buy, oh my God, I need to buy um, a friendship bracelet kit. But I thought my mum can do that together with me like when we get to Melbourne because we get there the night before. So if I buy the kit, yeah, we can, Maybe even do it on the plane or something, give us something to do. Or when we get to the hotel, um, don't know what I'm wearing. I just haven't even had the brain capacity to even think about that um, because of what's been like going on. So I think I'm just going to have to wear something in my wardrobe, which is not ideal, but... I mean, I've got so many clothes and I feel like I can just make something work, but it's probably not gonna be like full costume vibes. Anyway, I need to go and get ready. So I will see you guys after. All right, we're here setting up. How cute, we got these little cookies so we can paint them and decorate them from Cookies Kitchen Co. These are Adele's thank you cards. So cute, got some of her jewelry on display and then we're just like setting up packing stations. Also, these little chocolates will be going in your orders as well. Adele needs to sign as many as she can. I'm not getting enough, but apparently we're actually quite strong. <laughs> got it. Put this here. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Seriously, still can't believe you're here. <laughs> okay, Adele's arrived and we're gonna do a, what's that on my hair? We're gonna do an acai bowl competition. Adele's just straightening it. Okay. We'll use these. Yeah, they're cute. One, two, And then I've got blueberries. Yeah. Guys, I think I already won. I can't. You are just overachievers. <laughs> She's an overachiever. <laughs> <laughs> but like, seriously, that's a dolls. Mine's so sad. No, yours is cute. Sad girl. Okay. okay. These are the final products. Oh my god, the packages just arrived the timing but i'm just so happy we just got a delivery this is the company that just dropped off this platter i've already dug into it and then she made us little custom cookies with our logo on it so cute
just got home, but these beautiful roses got delivered while I was at the warehouse. It was so cute, obviously from Peter. And then the Milkman's cookies also sent me this. Cute little cookies for dessert. Good morning, everyone. I never vlog in public, so this is so rude with me, but I'm just walking back to my car after being at the hospital all morning. I need to go and help the girls pack yesterday's orders. Oh my God, everyone is staring. I don't know how people vlog in public, seriously. Like, yeah. I'm walking back to my car now, going to the warehouse. By the way, I literally just realized yesterday that I'm seeing Taylor Swift on Saturday night. Like, what do you mean? I. I don't know why, but I thought it was last, uh, I thought it was next weekend. And mum was talking to me about it because I'm going with mum, which by the way, I'm so excited to surprise her with what tickets we have. Anyway, I was stressing when I realized it was this weekend because I don't have an outfit yet, but I think I am gonna end up wearing what I wore to Riley's vintage Christmas, like the skirt. And then the white boots go with it. And then I think I'm just gonna wear a white singlet, but I think I wanna buy a new one. So I'm gonna go to the shops today. Okay, I just got to my car now. Friendship bracelets. I'm gonna go buy a kit if I've still got some in stock. I know I've left this so last minute, but I really do wanna make my own. It'll give us something to do, you know? Um, so yeah. That's the plans. We literally leave for Melbourne tomorrow at 6 a.m. So I need to get my shit together. Thank God tonight is like late night shopping. So I can go and do that after work. But yeah, right now I'm gonna go to work and help the girls with all the orders. I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to those that shopped Adele's collection yesterday. Like, I feel like every collection we do, I just, it just like shocks me with how well it goes. Like we got almost 450 orders yesterday, which is wild for us. The lover earrings, I'm not wearing them now, but the lover earrings in gold are sold out. The lover ring in silver sold out. I'm pretty sure the I Heart You necklace is really close to selling out. I don't have any of them on, but I still do have the I Heart You necklace is sold out almost. Um, we do still have some of the Valentina necklace, which is what I'm wearing now, the little bow, it's so cute. And the Sweetheart, I think, is almost sold out. We are discussing a potential restock with Adele, so if you are wanting something, make sure you put your email in on the product that you want, just so I can see for numbers, because that really, really helps me when you guys put your email or number in. Obviously, I'm getting a sigh. I'm not going to try and be good. Okay, we're going to do our DIY cookies that we got. We'll, we were meant to do them yesterday, but we literally ran out of time because we were packing the whole day. How cute. <gasps> the bows. Oh my God, that is fucking adorable. Can I show TikTok? Yeah, okay. Whoa, so cute. These ones are mine. Charlie's. <laughs> Even though she copied me. Um, <laughs> And then Katie's. Cute. Good morning. It's literally five, no, 4.30 a.m. Um, I'm just waiting to get picked up by um, mum's partner with mum because we're going to Melbourne for Taylor Swift. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I didn't actually end up going. Let me just go in front of this light. I didn't actually end up going to sleep until 11.30. So, she's running on like under five hours sleep, actually. Which is great. Now, I'm going to try and sleep on the plane. Although, I don't actually feel that bad considering like my eyes don't hurt. Which is weird. Anyway, um, so yeah. The concert is tomorrow night. We're not going tonight. So we've got like one full day in Melbourne. So I'm really excited because last time I was in Melbourne, we were only there for literally under 24 hours. So yeah, I made a booking for dinner tonight. And yeah, I think we'll just land and play it by ear, go find something to eat, walk around. Um, 
We may even go and get some merch. I'll have to ask mom if she's keen. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do that. It looks really cool. So, yeah. Also, I don't know whether to pack a water bottle. I literally have my water bottle with me like 24-7. So maybe I'll just buy water when I'm there. But, yeah, mum will be here any minute now. And I guess I'll see you in the morning. Checking in. Whoa. Oh. Holy shit. Uh -huh. We're staying at the Sofitel and we upgraded our room because we were like, YOLO. <laughs> and it was only $150 when it usually would be $650. So we're like, whoa. Well, and the room's ready now. We don't want to wait until 2 p.m. Here we uh, go. Is that? Is no, that not that key. It's this one. Oh. And what's that? Maybe for the luggage. Oh, it's like a full on. Wow. Like a so, dining. Oh, wow. It is massive. Apparently, we have views of the MCG. Can we open all these? Yeah. It's cold in here. Yeah, it is cold. That's the MCG. Holy dooly. Okay, we've opened up all the windows. This is like the living area. It's huge. <laughs> Bedroom, and then that's the MCG there. It's a shame you can't like, there's no windows. No. I'm sure we'll be able to hear it though. It'll be so it's loud. Mad. Yeah. We're quite close. And then. Oh, we've got two TVs. We've got one in the lounge and one in here. <laughs> Bathroom. Very nice. This is my Melbourne costume. Mum didn't really get the memo. She's wearing Birkenstocks. <laughs> I am starving. I didn't have anything to eat this morning. We just had a coffee when we got to the airport. So we are gonna go for a walk. I've got a couple of cafes in my notes that I wanna go to. So hopefully we don't need a booking for them because I could just imagine how many people are in Melbourne right now. So everything's gonna be super busy, but yeah, I'm gonna go try and find a cafe and I'll take you along. I just realized I didn't give you your tickets. No. You wouldn't even know what that means. So not everyone gets that ticket. They're just posters. that you just don't even know what's going on for the packaging. Um, no. Yeah, we're not in the grandstands. We're at the front. Are we? Yeah, at the very really? front. Yeah. How did you get those? Jonathan did it. At the very front. Well, not at the very front, but like, to, I'll show you VIP. where our ticket is. Oh my God. Yeah. We're at B5. I'm um, so excited. I have to look it up. Let me look, get my computer out. Yeah, but you get a little look. You can even wear this to the concert. Little bag, little, little merch. Yeah. That's Cute. yeah. What I think about that's... a lanyard? You said a lanyard. Yeah, I think it's in maybe it's in that one. Cool. I know. I think they're just Postcards. I don't know, postcards or postcards. whatever. Little brooch. Wow. He didn't even tell me that. He did talk. I know, about it was me. a secret. I was gonna tell you when you got here. That's so cool. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we just got back to our room. I'll show you guys the stadium. Not gonna lie, you can't really see much, to be honest. And we can't hear anything because we don't have a balcony. Oh, you just turn the lights on. 
you turn the yeah, off for a sec. Yeah. And just see better when the lights are off. Okay. But yeah, that's the stadium there. Not much really going on, it's just lit up. Yeah, I thought there'd be like more lights, you know, flickering on and off. But maybe it's like a slow song or something that's on now. We're getting ready for Taylor Swift. We had a really chill morning. We, I pretty much slept until not the um, set list, literally playing since the minute we got into this room. I need to turn it off though because copyright. So basically this morning was a late start. I literally got up at like 9.30 because I was knackered from getting up at like four um, the other night. So yeah, we got dressed, went for a walk around. We just had um, breakfast at a cafe just under us. So we went for a walk around Fitzroy Park and then we just grabbed something to eat before we headed back to the room. And I just had a shower, washed my hair, I'm about to blow dry it. Mum's in the shower now, but we're gonna start to get ready. I wanna film some transitions for like TikTok and Instagram, but I'm so excited. Like I feel like every time I think about it, I get like tears in my eyes. Is that fucking normal? Like I'm, I'm getting teary. And like what, what is wrong with me, dude? I need help. Um, every time I watch a video on TikTok, bawling, I'm literally gonna be, I'm, I'm a crier. Like I'm such an emotional person. I'm the person crying at your wedding, crying at like anything. I don't know, like I just cry at the drop of a hat. I've always been like that. Like when someone will get married, even if it's someone that I don't know and I'm watching someone like get engaged or get married, I will be bawling. That's the plan. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair when mum gets out of the shower and then start my makeup. I was gonna buy like little um, stick on gem things, but I feel like my skirt's sparkly enough. Uh, but yeah, and I also didn't get merch today because the line was longer than yesterday. We thought, oh yeah, surely like, it's not gonna be too bad if we get there like when it opens at 12. It was packed, so we're thinking, I'm probably not gonna go for the supporting act or we'll probably start making our way there at 6.30, which is when the supporting act starts because apparently Taylor goes on at like 7.30 on the dot. So we'll probably just like catch the last bit of, I think it's Sabrina Carpenter. And then we're gonna hopefully try and get merch like when everyone's inside watching the supporting act because I'm looking down now at the tents and there's no one there. And it's only four o'clock. So surely, shit, we should have gone now. People are literally lining up to go into the stadium and it's literally four o'clock and it doesn't start till 6.30. That is insane, insane. Oh yeah, also last night, we couldn't really hear, like we don't have a balcony here. So we thought like surely we'd be able to hear through the windows, but like we could hear a beat and we could like, when we put our ear to the, um, window we could actually I could make out what song that was on but like I couldn't actually hear clearly so to be honest I didn't really get to watch anything except for the lights and even then the only things that we could see from the top were the fireworks towards the end but other than that like we couldn't really see like obviously we only seen the top of the stadium so yeah okay we're ready here's the outfits I'll show you your outfit. This is what I went with. This skirt is from Zara. This is from Glassons. 